so hello uh, today in this lecture we discuss countable and uncountable sets countable and uncountable sets so for uh, this direction we first define countable infinite set okay so let's uh, a set is said to be infinite so let us first define infinite set a set a set is said to be an infinite set infinite set to be an infinite infinite set if it is not a finite set if it's not a finite set finite set and uh, it's said to be countably infinite it is said to be countably infinite it is said to be countably infinite if there is a bijection if there is a bijection f a set a right a set a is said to be an infinite set if it's not a finite set and it is said to be countably infinite if there is a bijection f from a to z plus z plus minus set of positive degrees it is this set one two so on so this examples of uh, countably infinite sets z plus is countably infinite countably infinite so in this uh, z plus we define we define a map for this we must uh, have a bijection from z plus to z plus it is defined i the identity map from z plus to uh, z plus by i of m is equal to m for all m belongs to z plus so clearly this i is a bijection so therefore z plus is countably countably infinite clearly i is a bijection and therefore and therefore z plus is countably infinite countably infinite now second uh, example z set of all integers z is countably infinite z is countably infinite z is countably infinite so for this we define f from z to z plus by f of n f of n is uh, to n it's even if n is positive if n is positive and if n is uh, less or equal to 0 then its value is minus 2 and plus 1 if n is less or equal to 0 so that means uh, you can see that uh, the image of 1 is 2 because 1 is positive image of 2 is 4 under this map and if if you want to find the image of 0 so let's uh, see this uh, can check it like this image of 1 is 2 and what's the image of 0 0 is a uh, image of 0 is 1 then image of uh, now after 1 we have 2 here uh, or you can see image of minus 1 what's the image of minus 1 minus 1 is a negative so its image is minus 2 minus 1 that is plus 2 plus 1 that's 3 so image of minus 1 is 3 and image of 1 is 2 image of 2 what's the image of 2 that's 4 what's the image of minus 2 here you can see it's uh, it's uh, 
4 plus 1 that is 5 and you can see that the image of positive integers they are even integers okay and image of negative they are odd integers and image of 0 is 1 so uh, this is clearly a bijection you can easily verify it's a bijection so it's a it's a bijection from so it's like this 0 the image of 0 is 1 then image of 1 is 2 then image of minus 1 is it's 3 then image of 2 is 4 and image of minus 2 is 5 so in this that uh, in this uh, continuing uh, likewise we can see that there is a one one correspondence or there is a bijection between the set of all integers and the set of positive integers or you can also prove it uh, it's a, this is a bijection you can easily verify that this function is one one so for this uh, you had to choose two integers n and m and assume that f of n equals to f of m then you have to show that uh, n is equal to m now you assume that uh, uh, you you take n and m there are any two integers then you assume f of n is equal to f of m and you have to show that uh, n and m they are equal they are equal now since uh, value of f uh, value of n under f and value of m under f they are same so that means both n and m they are both positive or both are negative because uh, for positive for, because if n is positive for if possible say n is positive and m is negative then the output of n will be an even because for even uh, for positive integers the value is even you can see it image of 1 is 2 image of 2 is 4 image of 3 is 6 1 and so forth so for, uh, the, uh, the the output of positive integers is even and output of non-negative integers that's just odd so that means uh, you can see that either both are even or both are odd because f of n the output of n and m they are same they can't be different so if the output is same so that means both are even or both are odd so both are even or both are odd it means that both n and m they are positive or they are less or equal to zero so a uh, case first if uh, both are positive if n is positive m is positive then in that case uh, f of n is 2n f of m is 2n so in that case 2n is equal to 2m and which means that n is equal to m and the second case if both are less or equal to 0 then in that case uh, the image of uh, n is minus 2n plus 1 and image of m is minus 2m plus 1 and from this you conclude that n must is equal to m so that means this is actually a it's actually a 1 1 map so similarly you can see that it's also on to you take any even integer the say you take any even even means you take 2 into m even positive integer then the then its pre image is obviously n and you take r then its pre image is obviously negative non-negative integers non-positive integers so that means this map is both 1 1 and on 2 so so clearly this f is bijection clearly this f is f is a bijection and hence z is countably infinite z is countably infinite so thus we have seen that z plus is countably infinite z is countably infinite and next is a set of rational numbers and we'll see that set of rational numbers is also countably infinite countably infinite so for this uh, we first prove that uh, uh, z, uh, z plus cross z plus is countably infinite that's the next example z plus cross z plus is countably infinite so uh, you can uh, uh, see you can prove it like this also this uh, set of all positive integers uh, z plus cross z plus set of all pairs of positive integers so here it's one here it's two here it's three and here we have one here we have two so these are the points one one z plus cross z plus then we have one two one three and then uh, this is the set of the points and you can see that uh, they are countably infinite you can start with this one then go like this then image of one is say first point and image of like like you can like uh, you can go like this okay then you can come back and in this uh, fashion you can see that it will it will cover all the elements of this okay like so you map this point to one 
you map this point to 2 the next point to 3 then the next point to 4 and so on and so forth and in this way you can find the bijection from from the set z plus cross z plus to z plus but uh, this picture is not a proof actually we want uh, a mathematical proof for this z plus cross z plus from this it looks that uh, these points are countably infinite so we can enumerate them first point this is the first point then we have the second point then we have third then four five six so you can count these points but we want uh, the mathematical proof for z plus cross z plus to be countably infinite so what we do for this we define a set a which is a subset of z plus cross z plus so set a we define this set it's a set of all pairs x y where x and y they are in z plus with the condition that x is greater or equal to y so this set let's define this set x is greater or equal to y so it's this set actually you can see so this is one this is two this is three this is four so what are these points are uh, so here it's one here it's two here it's three so it, it this consisting of these pairs x y with x greater or equal to y x is greater or equal to y so that means it contains one one because one is greater or equal to one it contains then one two because one is greater or equal to it contains then one three these are the points two one is not there because uh, this two is not greater or equal to one but uh, this two two is there 2, 2, 2, 4, and so on and so forth. And then we have this point 3, 3. So these are the points. Huh? Not all these, uh, not all these uh, ordered pairs, uh, integer ordered pairs. So this, then these points. Then you have to leave the first two points here. Then you start with this point, and so on and so forth. So th it is this set, the set A x y with x greater or equal to y. Now what we do, we define a function. We define a function f from z plus cross z plus to a. So define this function. Define. Uh, we define uh, uh, this function uh, from uh, uh, from the set. Uh, we define a function f from z plus cross z plus to this set a by f of x y is equal to its x plus y minus 1 because this entry should be greater or equal to the second one so it's it's so it's always this one is always greater for x is 1 y is 1 so then it's 1 plus 1 minus 1 that's 1 and this y is 1 so 1 is greater than equal to 1 for other values of x and y you can see that the first entry of this the first integral entry it's always greater than equal to the second one because here we have some x plus y so clearly x plus y minus 1 then this y this period belongs to you so it's a function so it means this uh, this is a function from z plus cross z plus t equals and we see that this function is actually this f is a bijection this f is a bijection so again uh, we want to prove it's one one then we prove that it's also on two so on two is very simple so you take any point here x you take any pair here then we can you can write that pair as x plus one minus one over that's 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 very simple that's very simple that's not too difficult so that can be done but uh, for one one so for this we choose two points two ordered pairs from this set z plus cross z plus and we assume that the images are equal so let's take two pairs let's take x1 y1 and x2 y2 in the domain of this function such that their images are equal under f is equal to f of x2 y2 but you apply this definition now what's f of x y f of x one y one you apply this rule here so this means that it's x one plus y one minus one then y one is equal to x two plus y two minus one then y two and this gives uh, we know that two pairs are equal if and only if the each each component is equal component wise they, are, they must be equal x one plus y one 
minus 1 is equal to x2 plus y2 minus 1 and y1 is equal to y2 and y1 is equal to y2 and which gives that since y1 is, is, is equal to y2 so you can apply it here y1 is y2 the, these two will go and it will give and 1 and 1 will also go it gives that x1 is equal to x2 and y1 is equal to y2 and which means that x1 y1 is equal to x2 y2 so that therefore this f is 1 by now uh, let's prove this f is also on to f is on to so for this let's take any pair let's take this x y belongs to a so this means that x is greater or equal to y so which means that this x comma y this can be written as uh, can we express it in that form so x plus y minus uh, this x is greater or equal to y okay so how do i do that uh, like this if i want to express this one is this one can be written as one plus one minus one one now how do i do it for say two one two one can be written as uh, one but, uh, so it's two plus one minus one then one okay two plus one right two plus one is three so uh, from this i get uh, i get an idea how to write uh, how to express it in this form so i want to express it it in the form of say x1 plus y1 minus 1 uh, then y1 so y is equal to y1 so how it's possible so 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 let's uh, do it like this x plus 1 x plus 1 uh, x plus 1 uh, how do I do it it is uh, 2 plus 1 minus 1 then 1 okay so this uh, 2 1 can be written as 2 plus 1 minus 1 so uh, I want uh, so let's uh, let's let's see this 3 2 for 3 2 how do we do it it's a uh, it's it should be here uh, it's 2 is here so I want x plus y that's 2 then uh, there is minus 1 okay then how uh, what will be then what will be here then it's it's 4 here okay not 4 4 plus 2 is 6 6 minus 1 so 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 it's it's 2 here okay 2 2 plus 2 minus 1 that's 3 so for 3 2 I, I can write it as so uh, so here uh, let's see here how can we express it uh, so uh, I have here uh, I want here y x plus y okay plus 1 here then y here then uh, uh, what should be here then uh, so the output should be x so which uh, so it, it, it means that it's x minus y minus 1 x minus y minus 1 okay not it, it's not like this it's not like this so I want x here okay so I should write here x minus y minus 1 should be minus y minus 1 then plus this so let me let me let me let me write it here like this it's x minus y minus 1 then plus y plus 1 so this is your x here x plus y plus 1 then it's y okay so. and uh, now uh, now this uh, this x uh, it's greater or equal to y so x minus y x minus y is greater or equal to 0 so uh, minus y and minus y minus y and plus y they will go minus 1 and plus 1 it will go again so the equality for equality I want to uh, 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 what uh, do I do it how do I do it this 2 and 2 how do I express it uh, it's 2 here uh, 
so I want 2 here actually 2 plus 1 then what will be the point here 2 plus 1 is 3 so I want uh, this is the plus sign here because it should be x plus y plus 1 so 2 plus 1 is 3 so for this 3 uh, so I want 2 here actually so here it's minus 1 then but uh, I want plus actually I want plus actually so uh, what's the image if the if the, if they are same actually for uh, for if x is strictly greater than y then it's okay uh, then it's okay so what's the pre image of x y if x is greater or equal to y what's what's its pre image so for x equal to y what's the pre image for x equal to y uh, for x equal to y, uh, the pre image uh, of it is oh sorry, it's x plus y minus one. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's uh, what's the equation? What's the uh, what's this? Uh, what's the formula? It's uh, it's defined by x plus y minus. It's not plus one. So oh, then it's okay. Then it's okay. Then it's okay. So no problem. So it's uh, minus one here. Okay. It's, it's minus 1 so you have to write here minus 1 minus 1 then it should be here plus 1 okay okay plus 1 so it's x plus y x minus y plus 1 this is a positive integer because x is greater or equal to y so x minus y is greater or equal to 0 it's a number which is greater or equal to 0 plus 1 so that means this number is a positive integer plus y minus 1 and it is equal to f of you can see it's equal to f of x minus y plus 1 then this it's the image of this point so for any x y in a i can find appear x minus y plus 1 comma y in z, in z plus cross z plus such that the image of this pair is equal to x y so this f is on to f is therefore f is on to so thus f is a bijection thus f is a f is a bijection F is a bijection. Now next, uh, what we do? Next we define. Next we define G from the set A to Z plus by G of X Y. Now it is clear that X is greater or equal to Y because by definition of A, you define it like this: one half of X minus. 1 times x plus y and you verify that this g is a bijection verify that g is a bijection g is a bijection so both f and g so you can easily verify it's a bijection map so therefore therefore both f which is f is from y to y f is from z plus cross z plus to a and g from a to z plus are bijections are they are both bijections so which means their composition this means that f composition g which is from uh, uh, it's uh, no here i have to use the inverse actually yeah i want to prove z plus cross z plus is countably so i should write here f inverse okay f inverse is also a bijection so f inverse composition g g is a map from a to z plus then f inverse is a map from a to z sorry i should write here i should write here this oh, it should be this f composition g inverse what's g inverse g inverse is a map from z plus to a which is a bijection z plus to a then i want a bijection from sorry uh, let's uh, let's let's take this bijection okay this one i want a bijection from z plus cross z plus to z plus okay so let's uh, let's uh, let's start with f okay then composition g okay g composition this one it's a bijection it's z plus cross z plus to a is a bijection is a sorry it's z plus here it's here z plus this is z plus here 
this is a bijection so which means that z plus cross z uh, because whenever we have a bijection from a set to z plus then that set is all is countably infinite so z plus cross z plus is countably infinite countably so it's it's very simple huh? it's not too difficult now uh, next uh, uh, we define a countable set so countably infinite we have defined countably infinite now we define countable set a set is said to be countable a set is set is said to be countable if it is either countable ya ya to ye countable hona chahiye or countably infinite or countably infinite countable means that it is either finite or there is a bijection from the set to the set of n natural numbers okay so a set is countable if it is either finite if it is either finite sorry it is here if it is either finite a set is said to be countable if it is either finite finite you have already defined a finite set or countably infinite that you have defined so uh, a set which is not countable a set which is not countable just wo set jo countable na nahi hoga is called uncountable is said to be uncountable a set a set which is not countable a set which is not countable wo set jo countable na ho isko hum kehte hain uncountable is said to be is said to be an uncountable set uncountable set तो काउंटेबल सेट्स के एग्जांपल्स हमने बहुत देखे आप अनकाउंटेबल सेट के एग्जांपल्स आपको देखनी है सो फर्स्ट वी हैव क्राइटेरिया फॉर दिस काउंटेबल सेट्स लेट्स स्टेट दैट क्राइटेरिया वी स्टेट ओनली दिस क्राइटेरिया एंड फॉर द प्रूफ यू कैन सी जेम्स मैन कर दैट्स द प्रूफ इज वेरी सिंपल क्राइटेरिया फॉर काउंटेबल सेट्स criteria for countable sets okay so this is the theorem so as we have seen the criteria for finite set now we have a criteria for countable set let b be a non empty set let b be a non empty set be be a non empty set then following statements are equivalent then the following statements are equivalent then the following statements are equivalent but first one is b is countable b is this is the first statement and second is there is a surjection function there is a surjection means on to okay there is a surjection function there is a surjection function f from z plus to the set a set b b ki baat hum kar rahe b is count okay and third one is there is injection okay there is an injection function there is an injection function g from b to z plus k okay? so it looks straight forward ha huh? agar aapke paas matlab b se lekar is tak injection ho ke matlab every element has any two elements has different image okay ye ye aapke paas ye aapke paas set a1 hai matlab iske iski image suppose 1 hai fir a2 ki image 1 nahi ho sakti because it is injection a2 ki image 2 hai a3 ki image 3 hai a4 ki image 4 hai so like that to agar aap is tarah se karoge na matlab yahan yahan par koi elements bach bhi sakta it's not out it is just an injection so a5 ki image se a5 nahi hogi wo 7 hogi a8 ki image kuch a6 ki image kuch matlab 10 hogi aise 
so this is not sorry this is just injection then you can see that uh, uh, this is this this is actually comfortable this set is actually comfortable to agar agar ye map sirf itni hi hogi a1 ki image 1 hai a2 ki image 3 hai a3 ki image 3 hai a4 ki image 4 hai a5 ki image 7 hai then this <coughs> then in that case this set ye jo set aapke paas hai a5 tak this is a finite set and finite set is a comfortable set <coughs> and this is a this is your set b okay to is set b se lekar set of integers tak aapki ye injection hai this is one on that to ye infinite bhi ho sakta hai but uh, uh, there is agar ye infinite bhi hoga but you have a injection from b to z plus then you can see this is actually countably infinite in that case so uh, next uh, we see that uh, subjection the next theorem is uh, every uh, subset of a countable set is countable subset of a countable set of a countable set is countable is is countable the proof is again simple you have to apply this previous theorem so if b is a subset of a okay to a agar countable hai to a se lekar z plus tak aapki injection hai ab b subset hai usi map ko aap restrict karo suppose f is the injection then you re this restrict this f to b which is a map from b to z plus this is also an injection ye agar injection hai because it is given that a is countable okay so there is an injection then this one is injection is in the ye given hai aapke this is given aur ye isi ki restriction hai it's also an injection is an injection so that means we have an injection from b to z plus which means that b is also countable b is also countable so z plus cross z plus is countable infinite that we have already seen uh, it's a countable infinite set Oh, this sets uh, countably infinite. Okay. So countable. Uh, इससे पहले भी हमने किया है इसको countably infinite. But here is a second proof. Uh, second proof. Uh, uh, so you have to prove that Z plus theorem. Z plus cross Z plus is countably. infinite so we prove that this is actually countable then we see that this is not finite set therefore it must be countably infinite kyunki countable ke liye do cheez ya to wo finite hona chahiye ya countably infinite hai to main pehle prove karunga ye countable hai then i will show that it's not finite so that you have that you has that that you know this r plus cross r plus is not not a finite set so it's countable and not a finite set therefore it must be countably infinite so for countable we show that there is an injection from this set to z plus so uske liye aapko prove karna hai there is injection from Z plus cross Z plus to Z plus. अगर आपने सिर्फ इंजेक्शन प्रूव की दैट मीन दिस सेट इज काउंटेबल जो अभी आपने थर्म की है काउंटेबल सेट के लिए तो यू हैव टू प्रूव दिस देर इज एन इंजेक्शन फ्राम द सेट Z प्लस क्रॉस Z प्लस टू Z प्लस हाउ डू डिफाइन दैट इंजेक्शन यू डिफाइन दिस मैप एफ ऑफ एम एन इज इक्वल टू थ्री टू पावर टू पावर एम एंड थ्री पावर एन यू कैन चूज एनी टू रिलेटिव पॉजिटिव इंटीजर्स not necessary 2 and 3 and you see you can see this map is injection f is an injection so that means if f is injection that mean then this z plus cross z plus is countable but it is not finite therefore it is countable if the proof is very simple you can you can check it verify that that verify that this f is injection verify that that f is an injection it's very simple it's very straight forward Okay uh, so in the next lecture we will see that uh, the set of rational numbers is also countable infinite so then we discuss that uh, set of uh, real numbers is not countable it's an uncountable set